نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري و یسر لي امری و احلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لي وزیر من اخلی اللهم فکهنا في الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ ٹوڈے وی آر اسٹارٹنگ ود آور ورڈ ٹو ورڈ ٹرانسلیشن آف قرآن اینڈ وی ول بی ٹوڈے وی ول بی کورنگ سورت الفاتحہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم با زیر بی دس از اے پری فکسڈ preposition and it means with in ism means the name so bismi means in the name of whom allah allah has two words joined al and ilah al means the and al means all and ilah means the deity so al ilah this is a proper noun that is the only deity the only ilah what is he like ar rahman ar rahim the root word of ar rahman is rahamim and similarly the root word of ar rahim is also rahamim and this means what mercy ar rahman is the most gracious ar rahim is the most merciful these are both the superlative forms of adjectives explaining the attributes of allah and remember they are at the a specific die cast the die cast of ar rahman is falan and the die cast for ar rahim is fa'il and both these are a superlative form of adjectives explaining the attributes of al ilah alhamdu The root word is ha mim dal it means praise and it means thanks so alhamdu means all the praises all the thanks are for whom lillahi lamzer li is a prefix preposition and it means what for to be so lillah means for allah or be to allah and allah is like what rabbil alamin rab the root word for rab is ra ba wow it means to grow to prosper or to flourish so rab is the sustainer who causes all his creations to grow to prosper to flourish now you see that the root word has ra ba wow but in the word rab wow is absent i would want to highlight here that there are three words in arabic alif waw and ya these are known as the words of illat and very much like the vowels of english a e i o u which differ in their rules regarding uh, their and their um, rules of grammar as compared to the rest of the alphabets of a b c so similarly these three words in arabic 
alif waw and ya these are the words of illat and they can be present when they are present in a root word they might show up and come up in the word but there might be times when they just disappear for example here the root word is ra ba waw but in the word which is coming from the root word rab wow is absent and we can't see it so they just might disappear and they might be just absent and the second thing what might happen is that one of these words in the root word might be replaced with another word for example instead of wow there may be ya or hamza in the actual word for example with a similar root word there is a word in quran allah says wa yurbi sadaqat yurbi Yurbi means what? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He causes the growth and He causes the flourishing of the sadaqat, the money, the charity which is spent in the path of Allah. So Yurbi has the same root word. So what are we seeing instead of that? We're seeing Raba, Ya. So Y has been replaced instead of Vow. So this is what you will keep on coming across. And when you see a root word, and I mention a root word, and you see that the actual word which I am mentioning in the root word is not present in the word, so you need to realize that this is what? This is a word of illat, and it is either replacing each other or it has just disappeared. Rab means what? Is the sustainer of of what? Al-Alameen, of all the universe. And what is the Rabbil Alameen like? He is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman means what? The most gracious, a superlative adjective. And Ar-Rahim means what? It is again a superlative adjective, meaning the most merciful, and it is an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maliki. Maliki Yawmiddin. The root word of Maliki is Meem, Lam, Kaf, meaning to possess, to own. And the person or the one who possesses and owns is what? Is the Malik. So Maliki means what? Is the master. And this is a noun. And it is a noun for a singular, uh, it is a noun for a singular and a masculine. And he is the master of what? Yawmiddin. Yawm means the day. And which day? Ad-Din, the day of judgment. Iyaka. Iya is a conjunction. It means only, alone. And kaf, zabur, ka, it is a pronoun it is a pronoun for the second person singular masculine. You for a singular masculine. Iya ka. Only you. You alone. What do we do? Narbudu. The root word is Ain Ba Dal. It means to serve to obey, and most of all, to worship. The noon which comes before Ain Ba Dal, it is an indication of an imperative verb, the Muzari. And it signifies the first person plural. And this noon means what? We. So, Na'budu means we worship. Iyaka na'abudu would mean what? You alone we worship. Wa, this is a conjunction, it means what? And. And, wa, iyaka. You alone, only you. Nasta'inu. The root word of nastarin is what? Ain wow noon. And it means to help, to support. And the noon is similar to what I've explained in Narbudu. It is it means what? We. 
in an imperative verb it means what that the verb is or the action is being done by whom by us we and seen and ta it signifies requesting asking so nastain means what iya ka nastain means what only you from only you we seek help we ask for help or support eh dina root word is ha dal ya and it means guidance eh di this is a, a requesting verb the person is asking and asking for what guidance for whom na this is a pronoun for the first person plural ikh dina means what guide us guide us to where asirat al mustaqim asirat means the path and when alif lam is attached with asirat it is not any path attaching alif lam to a noun makes it a proper noun so the path which path al mustaqim qaf ya mim means something which is straight qama means to stand and the person who is standing stands straight al mustaqim so the path has an adjective that it is like what it is al mustaqim it is straight sirat al mustaqim means what the sirata the path allazina this is a relative pronoun for the third person masculine plural of all those sirat allazina sirat is what the path which path allazina this is what this is a relative pronoun for uh, plural masculine that is for all those the path of all those an'amta the root word is nun ain mim and it means the favors the blessings the bounties and an'amta means what an'amta means ta is uh, indicating uh, a pronoun for the uh, it is indicating a pronoun for the masculine uh, second person masculine singular for you and amta which you have bestowed upon all the bounties all the blessings which you have blessed them with alayhim ala is a preposition and it means on upon him is a pronoun and it is a pronoun for masculine third person masculine plural that is for them alayhim means on them so now allazina allazina all those an amta you have bestowed your favors alayhim on them ghairi this means what not other than al maghdubi al maghdub the root word is ain wad ba means what the anger the wrath the fury so al maghdub means what all those people who have earned your wrath alayhim on themselves alayhim is what ala means upon and on or him means all of them wala and la not whom adallin the root word is wad lam lam dal is a person who goes astray and who is misguided adallin means what all those people who go astray and who are misguided 
Now, I think revising it all over again, quick revi uh, revision of all the translation we've got for today. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, the most gracious, Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. Alhamdu, all praise, all thanks. Lillahi, for Allah, Rabbil Alameen, who is the Lord, who is the sustainer of Al Alameen, the universe. What is he like? Ar Rahman, the most, uh, the most gracious. Ar Rahim, the most merciful. What are these two? The superlative form of adjectives. And he is what else? Maliki Yawmiddin. Malik means what? The master of the day of judgment. Iyaka. You alone. Narbudu. We will worship or we worship. Wa Iyaka. And you alone. Nasta'inu. We ask for help. Ihdina. Guide us. Where? Asirat al mustaqim the path which is what the adjective for the path is what the straight path and the straight path is what it is the straight path asiratu the path allazina of all those and amta which you have bestowed favors alayhim on them Oiri, not or other than Al Maghdubi, those who earned your wrath, Alayhim on them, Wala and not Adwalin, who went astray or who were misguided. Misguided. Allahumma la taj'alna minhum, Allahumma ihdina sirat al mustaqim. ربنا لا تزيح قلوبنا بعد إذ خديتنا وحبلنا من لدنك رحمة